for this one, then we'll just get the results for the other two. You can double check them and then we can analyze the structure as a whole, decide what we want to do with it. Uh, in the Z direction, we've got a little bit from CB. FCB again the 707. Z direction, there's no Y. CA is entirely in the Z direction. And we assume it's positive. And then there's a little bit of CD um, in the Z direction, and it should be positive. So its direction component is that one. That's F, C, B, C. And we know what F, C, B is, don't we? Yeah, we know from up here is 5, 3, 1. So we, can, we know that that's a known value. Uh, F, C, D is also known. We found that from the joint before. So that's F, C, B, Y. And they all equal zero. Yeah, we have none of the, none of the oh no, we have the load. Uh, no, not on C, we don't. That was on D. So that equals zero. So the only thing we don't know is CA we can solve for. It. FCA, the only unknown in there, because remember we already know CD and CB. FCA equals zero. Does that make sense from the structure? FCA, that's this little piece here across the back of the square base. The analysis says we don't need that one. We could take it out and the structure would not collapse. Don't forget, CD is there. So, uh, if, if we have the front triangle, A, B, D, and D is running down to C, it will hold up that triangle. There's nothing A, C needs to do. There's nothing, no, no purpose to it in terms of the structure taken as a space truss and with, uh, with those, that load and these all being two force members. So we're eliminating uh, several pieces as we go. All right, so I'll leave for you to check the rest of the results. I'll just give them and we can talk about what we're left with. We've started with this four-sided pyramid. We've already gotten rid of several of the members. Um, so we still need to do joint B and joint A. We won't do the whole thing, we're running out of time. Joint B would be the next one. It's the one out in front here. And from that you get results like FBA is one of the unknowns and it comes out to be minus, so we know it's in compression. We get 2.5 kilonewtons. So that's a member that we could not take out of the structure. Uh, it's in compression, so we wouldn't want to replace that with a cable. You can if you want that to be your last job with that company. Uh, BY, we assume, is an upward support reaction, and that gets confirmed. And remember that was one that was the joint that was doubly supported, so there's a Z reaction as well. Uh, I assumed it to be positive, and that's what it comes out to be in the positive Z direction. So joint A down in the corner, well, I guess it makes sense. You uh, we already took out one member. If you take out any of the other members, we're not going to have much left to support. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, that was joint B. Um, yeah, joint B, we don't, we take out any of those members, that thing's going to start to collapse. 
And then joint A is the last one. And again, it's just a matter of setting these things up. Lots more is coming known as we go, so they do get easier. Uh, you'll find AX equals zero. It's not a necessary uh, support, which makes sense. None of the load was in the X direction, so why would we need any support in the X direction? So that one makes pretty good sense. A, Y, uh, let's see, uh, pulling down, that would tend to make A have to push up, but the force 5 is going to try to lift A, so it's a competition between those two, and it turns out the little 5 kilonewton force doing the pulling up is going to be the dominant one, so we actually have to hold point A down in the Y direction. Its tendency is to go up we have to hold it down. And then AZ, and we're all done, is 2.5 kilonewtons. So we've lightened up the support a little bit. We don't need support at AX. We don't need any of the back triangle that went to E. Some of the other pieces were in tension only. So uh, what happened to, uh, to BC, the diagonal across? What did we find out for that piece? FBC. Oh, that, had, that was in tension. So we could put a cable in there. So now we're left with a much simpler structure. We have the base. We don't need the back part of the base. We have point D up here. We have just that going down to the back corner. And then we need the two triangular pieces out in front. Oh, we don't need this piece right there, do we? Because that was zero. So we come up with just that simple structure. With, the, of course, the supports that were in there. All right, not bad. I think you could knock that out on a on a test on a test day with about six or seven more members in there just to, to make it fun.